Adani has lost 50,000 crores once the market was open in February 6th. Today, that is Monday. Well, today Adani shares are down once again. Some of the group shares have hit overall lower circuit once again down by 10%. Continuing the losses of Adani group since the Hindenburg report was out. Today, that is February 6th, once the market was open after the weekend holiday, we saw 50,000 crore losses again for Adani Group. Stocks belonging to embattled billionaire Gautam Adani's empire on Monday crashed up to 10% in the non-stop fall since the release of explosive report by Hindenburg. Eight trading sessions ago, out of 10 Adani stocks, six were locked in their lower circuit limits. Before moving forward, if you're somebody who have come to our channel, you ensure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and select all under bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies. Now let's look into what has happened to the stocks since the market got opened on February 6th, Monday. Not only that, in today's business case study, we're going to give you in detail about what is short selling and how Hindenburg earns money and makes profit for itself in detail with a hypothetical example. Before that, let's know about how much of Adani's share price has gone down on February 6, 2023. The main under loss under Adani group was Adani Transmission, which got minus 10%, was a top loser in the pack has it lost 10% to rupees 1,261.40 shares of Adani's flagship company. Adani Enterprises also loses minus 0.89%. Likewise, Adani Green Energy has lost minus 5% under National Stock Exchange. Adani Power has lost minus 5% under National Stock Exchange. Adani Total Gas has lost again minus 5%. Adani Wilmer has lo also lost minus 5% and NDTV which was recently bought by Adani is under profit. Yes, NDTV also had gone on to lose out its shares previously in the last week but here today NDTV has gained by 1.55%. Here the overall losses were up to 50,000 crores just when the market opened today on February 6th. Total loss in the market capitalization of all these 10 stocks in today's session was more than rupees 50,000 crore as the combined market capitalization inched lower to 9.58 lakh crores. Now, let's learn all about how this Hindenburg report which made Adani to lose more than 10 lakh crores in the market capitalization, how does Hindenburg's makes money. So today we're going to give you in detail about how Hindenburgs makes money through short selling by giving you a hypothetical example. Hindenburg research revealed that it had initiated a short position in Adani group companies through US traded bonds and non-Indian traded derivatives. Hindenburg research report alleging Adani group of stocks manipulation and multiple financial fraud has caused the conglomerate to lose 120 billion dollars that is more than 10 lakh crores as all its stocks have fell wiping out more than half of the combined value but what has the US based investment research firm gained from it now this is where our question lies what has Hindenburg gained from it of course through short selling, it has made a lot of profit. Now let's understand what is short selling in detail with a hypothetical example. Short selling is one of the many investment strategies in which an investor bets on a stock or assets in the expectations that its price will fall in the future. The investor then borrows rather than purchasing shares of stock, asset from lender and sells them in the market. If the price falls, the investor can repurchase it at the lower price, return them to the original lender and pocket the differences has profit. And if the price does not fall as expected, the investor's strategy becomes counterproductive and must bear the cost, making the technique extremely complex, research intensive and risky. This type of selling is called has short. Because the trader is selling the security in the hopes of profiting from a price decreases. As opposed to a standard long position in which the trader purchases the 
security in the hope that its price will rise. Now let's understand the strategy with the following hypothetical case and let's give you in detail about what is short selling exactly. The strategy can be understood using the following hypothetical case. Consider the case has of investor who believes that the stock of the company XYZ is overvalued and will fall in value. The investor borrows 100 shares of XYZ stock from a broker and sells it in the market for 100 rupees per share. The following day, the price of XYZ falls to rupees 90 per share. The investor buybacks 100 shares from the market and returns them to the original lender. In this process, he gets profit of rupees 1000, that is 100 into 100, minus 90 into 100. In summary to understand, short selling is a trading strategy that allows traders to profit against the market by gaining while the stocks or assets price falls. It differs from normal trading also has the investors sell first and buy later. It does however entail significant risk because the potential loss is limitless. So this is how short selling happens and short selling companies makes money. In this case, Hindenburgs makes money in billions of dollars because Adani stock has gone down more than 100 billion dollars that is more than 8 lakh to 10 lakh crore estimated to fall more in the future but we need to wait and see how it works. Now the question here is, is the short selling legal in India or not? To know about it, we should know what does CB, the Security Exchange of Board of control in India says. CB, Security and Exchange Board of India, the regulatory body for securities and commodity market in India, defines short selling as selling a stock which the seller does not own at a time of trade. According to a circular dated on December 2007, all retail and institutional investors are permitted to short sell, however with heavy regulatory norms. So that means the short selling in India is allowed and it is legal according to CB which controls the stock market which is a regulatory body. But however there are protocols and norms to be followed. Now what are those exactly? Let's look into it. Number one, securities traded in the future and options that is FNO segment are eligible for short selling. With CB periodically reviewing the list of stocks that are eligible for short selling transactions. Number two, naked short selling not owned but also not borrowed would be prohibited and all investors would be required to deliver the securities at the time of settlement. Number three, institutional investors have to square off their transactions intraday. Number four, when placing an order, institutional investors must declare up front whether the transaction is a short sale, retail investors however would be allowed to make a similar disclosure by the end of the trading day. These are the regulatory norms from CB to do short selling in India. However, in this case of Adani Group, Hindenburg is doing short selling through US traded bonds and non-Indian traded derivatives. So we have to wait and see how much of percentage and how much is that investment in the bonds by which Hindenburg is making money and what is that exact figure we are still not having that numbers so if you're somebody who want to enhance your skills in the real world experience then this is for you if you're somebody who come from a technical background or if you're somebody who's looking to do an MBA then this is the statistics in India in India a normal MBA cost about four to five lakhs rupees and the rate of placement is about 5 to 8 percent in average MBA colleges. The ecosystem of startup in India doesn't require the qualified MBA from these average MBA colleges. Whereas hundreds of startups looks only for the skill based MBA people or the people who have knowledge about the business. If you're someone who have technical knowledge and want to integrate with the leadership knowledge or if you're somebody who's looking to do an MBA, join this free webinar where you'll get to network with hundreds of professionals all together and you'll know exactly where do you got to do this. The link is in the description. 
If you are somebody who would like to do an MBA who have still not registered for a free practical MBA webinar where you get to know exactly where you got to do a practical MBA so that you also understand the stock market and business in detail with a practical way then make sure that you register for a free practical MBA webinar. The link is in the description. I hope you've liked this video. If you have liked this video, do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and select all under notification so that you do not miss on any of these business case studies. See you in the next video.